It's interesting that Canal came straight over to you. Your restaurant in the Beverly Wilshire in the yeah, Cut, you've got here as well. Yeah, Cateborough, he there. And, you know, we have a Cartier in uh, 45 Park Lane, right next to the Dorchester is there. Yeah, so beautiful. the same food, all about great meat. Congratulations on your star on the Hollywood I know. Home. It's I think, just been announced. I think now everybody can walk on me. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. How I amazing you, is I'm going to put mine up on the wall. I think the only... Two chefs, you're the second chef yeah. uh, ever to, to have his... To have his... Well, you know, oh, I think it's really a big honour and I'm very excited, especially for my children or my grandchildren yeah. when I'm not here anymore. They said, look, That's it. granddad is right underneath here. Yeah. <laughs> what a legacy to leave. So yeah. you are cooking steak. OK, we're going to cook some steak. We got, you, you can see beautiful steak. This one is from Snake River up in Idaho. And this one comes from Kansas. Kansas is a big right. meat producing state. So you're, in all America. your steaks are American, yeah? Yeah, not. But we also have sometimes uh, steaks from Australia mm -hmm. and steaks from Japan. You know the Wagyu steaks, which are very, very rich. So and you're looking for this has got great marbling in it. Beautiful marbling, as you can see. So how you like your steak cooked? Um, well, I'm a sort of really seriously rare girl. Oh, good girl. Oh my God. Then I should give you the big one here. Yeah, please so do. It stays rare. Okay, good. <laughs> all right. And You're how about you, Phil? Like exactly the same. Yeah, same. Oh, my, yeah. that's a good thing. There you go. In, in England, 20 years ago, everybody ate everything well done, just like in America. Too. It changed a lot. All right. You changed a lot of the perceptions of American eating. I know. You know, when I came there to Indianapolis, everybody ate their steak well done. They didn't even know how to cut with a knife and a fork. And uh, at the end, now, People eat it rare, medium rare, so it's much better. So I seasoned the steak really well with yep. salt and pepper on both sides. If you like it spicy, mm, it's sort of a as, little bit, not a little too bit, spicy. not too okay. much, but I don't mind. Okay, good. Actually, so, you want to do it basically. Okay. You're the boss. All right. So it's important to heat up the pan really well because you want to give a good sear to the steak. So we're going to put in a little olive oil. Mm -hmm. You see, it's nice and hot. You get a little smoke. See that? I'm watching you like a hawk here. OK. So although I cook steaks all the time, I still don't think I cook it like restaurant steak. Well, because you don't heat up the pan. Most of the people at home make that mistake not to heat up the pan. You can see this. It's really smoking And hot. you cook it with olive oil there, right? Yeah, I cook. You olive oil at really the, high temperatures. Yeah, but not the most expensive one. The yeah. most expensive olive oil you use for salad, for a little drizzle on yeah. the fish. So this is inexpensive olive oil because I think it's good for you, so still. But olive oil takes less heat. So now, one of the movie stars' favorite, I mean, I make it for Barbara Streisand, for John Travolta, they always come up to me at the Oscars and say, Wolfgang, where's your mac and cheese? Then you make mac and cheese. So I have to make that every year Well, now. if it's good enough for Streisand, it's good enough for us. Yeah. Oh, my God. So what we do, we make a light bechamel here. You can see this is a sauce, very easy. It's butter flour. A little milk, a little cream, yeah, and then you add cheese to it. So really, what simple. cheese are you putting in there? I put cheddar cheese and Parmesan cheese, oh, but doing? you put in whatever you like. You okay. Know? So boil it for about 20 minutes, so that way it doesn't have a floury taste. Yeah. And then you cook the pasta al dente. Yeah. And then we're gonna mix it all together. Now let's look yeah, at our simple, steak here. So don't turn it now, over. To not. You see, it's not seared enough yet. All oh, right. So we want to really sear it really well. So that way you get all the flavor of the caramelized all juices. Yeah. All right. While we are doing that, now we're going to go over here to our macaroni. We, I cooked them already. Yeah. You can see that here. So any kind of pasta will work. Even if you have leftover spaghetti or leftover uh, fizzy or penny or whatever it is, just use them up and make something different today. Now, a great thing also is this is amazing for leftovers. So you have some chicken leftover, some meat leftover, mushrooms, ham. Just throw it in here and it will make you a great dinner. That's a good idea. Because I think we all have to worry about the money. So, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, so it's really an important part. So now we put the pasta in here and Pour a little sauce over it, and you can steer it, Holly, if you want oh, to. Oh, I'd love to. 